Welcome to the Phone Doctor's version on how to repair and replace your iPhone 7 Plus screen. The difficulty level on this repair, we're going to rate a 5 out of 10 just because of a few fragile areas that we'll be sure to point out to you so you know what to watch out for. Be sure to check out the links below for your replacement screen or do-it-yourself repair kits, all with a one-year guarantee straight from Phone Doctors. Without further ado, let's get your iPhone 7 Plus screen repaired. All right, before you get started, make sure your device is powered off. Holding the power button down here and sliding to turn off. To get into it, you'll take your two screws out here with your pin lobes, pin lobe driver. And I'm gonna place them on my screw mat here to stay, stay organized. All right, when those are out, now we're going to take our thin isosimo. You're going to go around the edges. It's got adhesive. Now, most iPhones, you're, you'll probably be used to, if you've done one in the past, it folds up. This one actually folds to the side here. And the adhesive is only around the edges here, so don't go too far. Loosen the adhesive around the sides and the bottom. We'll get the top here in a second. So you don't want to pick up all the way up, you just want to get it up enough so you can get up underneath. Whoop. and fold to the side. All right, so now you wanna take out your, we wanna unplug the battery first and foremost, so we're gonna take this shield off here. It's held in by some tri, your tri-point uh, screws. There's four of them. And again, I'm using the screw mat so I can stay organized, keep my screws in the right spot. In case I sneeze, it will, uh, the screws will stay in the same spot. Huge help when you're putting it back together that the screws go in the right spot back you don't, you can cause permanent damage to the circuit board. Show off. Now we're going to unplug our battery, which is right here. We're going to unplug our screen here. Home button is, home button connect flex is right here. Once that's removed, now we can take out the shield that holds in our proximity sensor. This one here, instead of Phillips like on the 7, the 7 Plus is tri-point. And there's three screws instead of two. Out. And now you're ready to unplug. I'll lift the screen up a little more slack and pull your cable. Like so. so now we're done with the frame and the board. We're just going to get ready to install the stuff to the new screen. You'll notice if you're replacing the screen, your new screen won't have a home button and won't have the front camera proxy flex. We're gonna move all that over and I'll show you how to do that. To get uh, your, your home button out, you're gonna take out your four uh, screws down here that are tri-point.
shield. And then unplug the home button. The home button actually runs right here and then wraps up around and plugs into the connect flex on the screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this plastic click here to hold that flex in place and use my tweezers to unplug it like so. Boom. Now to get the home button out, we're gonna use heat on the back side here to loosen the adhesive. So now that we got the it heated up, we're gonna move the connect flex out of the way and we're gonna go up underneath the home button flex and the frame. You wanna be very cautious that you Don't jab at it, just kind of get up underneath of it. Very, very careful in this aspect. You don't want to rip the home button or make a tear. Um, you can, you'll lose all home button functionality if you do that. So now that it's loose, the home button will come out the front side. And there it is, got it out. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to take off the back frame and our proximity sensor. Um, start with that. There is one Phillips screw right down here. And then tri-point along the sides. There's only two on the left and three on the right. So that's out. Now we're gonna get the screws out top here. This bracket holding this bracket in. This is a these are Phillips screws. Pull the shield out. To get the ear speaker out, we're gonna take the front camera and just peel it back. And you're gonna pull your speaker out. Now you get this guy out, this proximity sensor, front camera, flex. Uh, we're gonna use heat um, to remove it. Uh, one thing you wanna be mindful of if you have like your broken screen is uh, obviously damaged and there's glass missing up here. Don't use too much heat because you can melt the, uh, the front camera. So to get this out first, I'm going to pick up the proxy and pull out of its little gasket area. And then I'm going to work my tweezers underneath the flex. All right, so flex is out now. Now one thing that will stay on this frame that isn't like any other model is, is there's just some black tape. And you wanna move that over to this proxy here. Cover up these gold contacts. All right, last order of business is going to be pulling this metal frame off, like so. And it somewhat attaches to the screen. It's just like, There's that. 
So now we're gonna reassemble. The screen flex will actually funnel through. One Phillips screw that will go back in place here at the bottom. And you're going to use your tri point to fill in your screws on the sides. Plug our proxy back in. So this is going to go back in the gasket. Once it's in place, we can fold it over and plug. end in and essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's flush across there's no you don't feel any bumping as long as it's flush you're good it's situated in the right spot ear speaker part has two little holes that'll wrap around you know it's in the right spot and now you're ready for your ear speaker camera back in place. Take a shield. And now you're ready to put the screws back in with using Phillips screws. that in place now you can put your home button home button back in home button is actually gonna plug in from top side of the screen there's a little notch as well for where your home button will situate so that way you know you have the home button plugged in the right spot. Now to put the shield back on, you're gonna use your tri-point screwdriver. Lay your shield down first. Hold it in place. Those back in place. Now we're ready to assemble back into the phone. Hold your home button. Connect flex. First, you'll hear it snap. A click. Same with the screen. Now put our 
shield back in. These screws up top here will be uh, tri point. that's down now we can put our battery back in place our shield in position and screw the, the last couple screws back in these are going to be tri point as well All right, once those are back in, now you're ready to close it up. Like most iPhone models will have a, <clears throat> these are little ridges, ridges right here. You'll get that up underneath the frame and push up. You'll see it nicely close up there and now you can just push the rest of the screen down in place. And it's all flat. Last two screws. Pinel lobes. Power it up, see how you did.